Tackle Junkies. What's going on everyone? Really appreciate you guys and gals for clicking on the video. In today's video we're going to talk about the new Akuma X series rods. Brand new rod here from Akuma. It's their high-end rod. I do have the 7.3 medium heavy fast extra fast action here. I've got three of them. For me this is a pretty uh, do-all type rod. A medium heavy you know fast action rod is very versatile and I will say this one here the lure rating is quarter to three quarter and I will say it feels like a true medium heavy you know power rod I've had other medium heavies that top out in an ounce and to me those feel more like a heavy power uh, this one topping out at three quarter it feels like a true medium heavy you know fast extra fast action rod so I think they nailed that for sure. I'll go ahead and go over the specs for you guys. 46 ton tow ray carbon blank. It's got Akuma's UXR technology, which is basically multi-directional fibers, which is going to give you a very strong blank. Coming up to the guides here, Fuji guides, Fuji SIC inserts, the guides, the inserts will handle any line that you want to toss at them. Coming down to the real seat nut, aluminum and carbon carbon real seat exposed blank cork eva foam split grip coming in at 4.1 ounces for this uh, particular model here 73 medium heavy fast action one thing i want to point out is the hook keeper there i love the placement and i love the style you know a rod this sensitive Mainly, you should probably use it for work in the bottom, you know, where you need the sensitivity. Of course, you can use it for reaction type baits and cranking or whatever, um, but you don't really need the sensitivity there. You want it for bottom contact baits, so you're either going to be using, you know, a jig or a Texas rig, you know, things like that. And having that open hook keeper there allows you just to take your Texas rig and just place it on the hook keeper. You don't have to take the hook point out of the plastic so definitely a big fan of the placement and the style of hook keeper definitely fits you know this particular rod i do want to touch on the cork really fast i made a post on instagram and facebook a few days ago about sealing the cork and i'll go ahead and link some videos down below on that i use the u40 cork sealer and any questions you guys would have on that subject will be in those videos so definitely check those out so i have the akuma hakai on all three rods i got a video on this reel I'll link it down below definitely check it out they do have an akuma x series reel as well but it's only available right now over their tackle warehouse i'll link it down below definitely check it out but again i'm running the hakai on all three rods here in a 7.3 you guys heard me say in the past anytime i have a really versatile rod like a medium heavy fast action usually i like a six speed reel just because it's really versatile I can throw Texas rigs and jigs and chatterbaits and spinnerbaits, you name it, you can toss it on that combo. But coming back to the sensitivity of this rod, you know, when I was dragging around Texas rigs earlier, I could feel every little, you know, pebble and limb that I was dragging over. So I figured I would dedicate these combos for bottom contact baits. It just makes sense for the sensitivity this rod has to dedicate them to work in the bottom. So like I said, jigs, Texas rigs, you know, things like that. And in that situation, I like a faster reel just because I'm I'm using the rod to work the bait. The reel's just picking up slack. So I do like a faster reel for those situations. So 7.3 here, Akuma Hakai, running 15 pounds Seaguar Tatsu on all three. So guys, just a quick rundown on the Akuma X-Series rods. Definitely check them out. I mean, once you get them in hand, to what it's hard to put them down. I mean, it's truly a very comfortable rod in hand, very light and very sensitive. So I think you guys are definitely going to dig them. Like I said, this is not a review. We'll do a review down the road. Just want you guys to have a look at the new Akuma X-Series rods. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to smash the thumbs up. Love you guys. We will see you guys on the next one.